This is where we left off in the previous video. Now, if I keep a candle exactly in between the two perpendicular mirrors here, how many images will be formed? What do you see? Yes, when mirrors are kept perpendicular to each other, three images can be seen. Now, the formation of two of the images must be obvious to you. These two images are formed due to the light rays from the candle falling on their surfaces. What about the third candle you see here? How is it formed? The light rays from the candle when incident on the two mirrors get reflected to form this. That's right. These reflected light rays are incident here and form something that looks like one image. But is it one image? Not really. This part of the candle is a reflection of this image and this part is a reflection of the other image. But we can consider this to be one composite image or reflection. In this case, the angle between the mirrors was 90 degrees. Now let's see what happens if I decrease the angle between them. When I reduce the angle between the mirrors to 60 degrees, we see 5 images. This one is a composite image made up of two partial reflections. Let us name the images as I1, I2, I3, I4 and I5. We know that I1 and I2 are formed due to the light from the object only. What about the other images? This image that we are seeing here is the reflection of I1 whereas I3 is the reflection of I2. The image I5 is formed by the reflection of I3 and I4. So we get 5 images in this case. We see that as we decrease the angle between the two mirrors, the number of images keep on increasing. When we further reduce the angle to 45 degrees, we get 7 images. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Amazing, isn't it? Now you must be wondering if there is a way to find the number of images formed. Given an angle between the mirrors, is there a way in which I can find the number of images formed? Yes, there is a pretty neat formula which tells us that. The formula goes something like this. The number of images is equal to 360 degrees divided by theta minus 1, where theta is the angle between the two mirrors. This formula tells us the number of images formed. So when the angle between the mirrors is 90 degrees, we substitute theta as 90 degrees. This gives us the answer as 3. Hence, there are 3 images that we see. When the mirrors are kept at an angle of 60 degrees to each other, we put theta as 60 degrees and the number of images that we get as 5. Similarly, you can calculate it for theta equal to 45 degrees, that is, when the mirror are kept at an angle of 45 degrees. Yes, we get the answer as 7. What if the angle between the mirrors is 0 degrees? Well, that's the same as mirrors kept in parallel. We get infinite number of images. Note that you can't use the formula in this case. Because if you put 0 in the denominator, the term will be undefined. Hence, we can't use the formula when theta equals 0. When the angle between the mirrors is 120 degrees, two images of the candle will be formed and when they are kept at 180 degrees, only one image will be formed. As we increase the angle between the mirrors, the number of images decreases. And remember that in all cases, we are assuming the object to be right along the central line. Sometimes, we don't really see the images exactly the same way. For example, consider two mirrors with a 60 degree angle between them. We see that this image I5 is present half in the first mirror and half in the second one. If we change the position of the object, then this will not be the case. Sometimes the image may be formed in one mirror only. Other times, a large part of the image is on one of the mirrors and the remaining part is on the other. The position of the images depends on where the object is positioned. In the next video, we will talk about the human eye. See you there.